Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And in this EDC video, I want to highlight three of the Roaring Fires uh, EDC pouches. And in particular, this one here that I've totally outfitted. I'm going to show you that uh, in detail. But the other two, first of all, this is the Roaring Fire Pico pouch. Uh, it's a padded pouch. This one's appeared before. I've been using it for various things, um, trying to find where its strengths are. But simple little design. Like I said, it's got the, the, the padding, it's got a zipper on this side, a zipper on this side, and inside uh, some administrative aspects, including some uh, elastic banding, another zipper pouch right here, basically cards, cables, uh, um, slots here, and then this one in the back goes all the way down. Um, nice little design, good solid, kind of a small wallet design. This one here is, is like a larger Maxpedition type. It has uh, two zippers, so it opens up more like a book here. Um, this one looks quite new. I had two of these. I gave the other one away after I used it a bunch, and somebody commented on it, and it's like, here, I've got another. I haven't used the second one yet, but here it is. Uh, they use YKK zippers, real nice execution, lots of molly webbing, lots of uh, Velcro enhancements, tons of administrative aspect on uh, um, basically all walls. Zipper pouch here, this is somewhat transparent. You can kind of see my fingers. And same here, so make first aid kit, EDC pouch, uh, cable administration for road warriors, etc. cetera. Um, good solid little pouch. But let's take a look at this guy here. This particular one is the Roaring Fire Tinder Tactical Organizer. And um, there are a few other companies that have something in this form factor. I like it. Uh, I'm going to go through everything I've managed to stick in here and why, because I throw this in other backpacks. Um, so first of all, on the outside, you can see I've got Molly on the back, a little bit on the front if I want to attach something. I use a real climbing carabiner, in this case an orange one with a, a smooth um, front end so I can easily slide it in and out of things. Um, open up this first pouch. What do I have? Well. I've got my multi-tool, got a Benchmade bug out in orange. I've got a Brunton compass in orange with a whistle. Uh, Snap-on screwdriver. This is the Olight O-Tactical or O-Tackle 2 titanium pry bar with copper insert. Uh, this is a right in the rain pen. Super light, nice and bright. Um, this is an ExoTac um, striker here for this ferro rod, which is on this end. So kind of a small little fire starting tool there. And a couple of uh, uh, CR123 batteries for something you'll see in a moment. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open. This is just a little tiny pouch. Uh, what do I have? Well, I've got my Surefire flashlight here. This is the, the E1D Defender. It's a single CR123, so I've essentially got three batteries, one on board and then two extras. Um, it also has a crenulated bezel for um, crenulating something. Um, here's an ExoTac. This is a Bic lighter uh, container and you can drop a lighter in, keeps it watertight, and it floats. I threw on this piece of paracord to keep these two together, but also to help get that off, because it's a fairly snug um, attachment, the way this fits on there. This is a sleeper. What do I have got here? This is a Cabela's um, Intensity Monocular. This one, it's got, uh, they say HD, it does have one um, optic of um, their high density or extra low dispersion glass, super sharp, um, adjustable eye piece there. Premium optics, this guy is good. I've looked at a bunch of them. They come, it comes down to Zeiss, Leica, and believe it or not, this one. Um, there are others that are like half a pair of binoculars. I wanted a very small, very, very solid, watertight, nitrogen purged. Um, you can see it's all dirty because I use it a lot. Um, nitrogen purged um, tube, simple focus here. Um, I believe this one is a 10 to 1, or 10, excuse me, 10 to 20, 
10 by 20, excuse me, getting this right. Um, but anyway, I use it a, a bunch for all kinds of things. I love, love a good solid monocular. Price on that was about, uh, I think it was around $80. Um, which is still inexpensive compared to the Zeiss. The, the like is about 400, 450 or something. But I don't like the ones that are, are large. Um, there are a couple of brands that make big binoculars. I wanted a little tiny one. Otherwise, I'll just carry my small binoculars. Um, what else is in here? Well, I've got my Knipex um, Mini Cobras. I've got another Leatherman Juice. Oh, and you can have two of those in there. Oh, my book. What do I have? Right in the rain. Notebook. Of course, orange. Back here. Uh, I've got some paracord that's a little stronger here than the traditional five strand stuff. Here's an Exotac. This is a match case. And since fire is important, what else is in here? I also have stuck an additional ferro rod in there, um, plus some hurricane matches and an extra strike plate since they require it. So that's what I've got playing around thus far with this, this Roaring Fire Tactical Tinder, um, your Tinder Tactical organizi Organization Pack Organizer. Um, I like building these things out, trying them out, testing them, seeing what works, what I would carry in different spots. But I also like being able to just drop all the essentials into another pack and not worry about it. So Roaring Fire, um, is producing some nice, nice designs um, to explore that EDC space. So good for them. Anyway, with that, Doc out.